All right, in today's video, we're going to look at this rigid battery. It's a hyper lithium ion. It's not reading in the charger. It's been dropped a few times. My best guess is that some solder joints maybe popped loose or something. But we're going to try to figure this out. Alrighty. Now this is one thing I don't know is, okay, it's just lifting up top. Okay, it's popping off pretty easily. I'm assuming these are, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this mechanism here stays together. Don't have to worry about that. This is what we are interested in. And these are 18650 cells by the way I see it. So we need to. All right, and we are back. So what we are going to do here is I'm going to set up the multimeter so that you can see it while I test the cells. And we will figure out if any of them are bad or if it's something to do with the wiring. So cell number one, 4.14, that's good. Cell number two, 4.14, good. 4.14. Four point fourteen. Four point fourteen. Okay. So there is something else wrong with the wiring as to why it's detecting a default or a faulty battery. So let's see this here. What is this voltage? Fourteen point four. Fourteen point four. So I've come to the conclusion that it's just the soldering joint over here. That was messing up right here because when I tried checking the voltage, it wasn't giving me anything. Then the second time I did, I put a little more pressure and it started. So I'm just going to melt the solder joints and try to seep them back in and see if that fixes our problem. If it doesn't, well... If there's any other problems, I'll let you guys know. But till next time, I'm going to put the screws in, but I'll do that off camera. Good luck.